what is your perspective on kind of the depth of the hitting talent this year? Because I know last year when guys hit slumps, they kind of had to fight out of it. Just the ability to rotate some guys in if, if anybody struggles or, or anybody steps up. I mean, I would say it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I have Caden Kent and Jack Bell with me at short. And I mean, they push me to compete every single day. And I can't take a day off because they're right behind me or they're, they're in front of me. So it's definitely a blessing because you can never be satisfied here. Uh, just and what is your excitement level to kind of get the full game day experience here at AM? Well, I'm, I'm super pumped. I mean, I think every game for me, I'm always a little nervous. So opening day at Aguiland, is, I'm gonna get nervous. I'm gonna get nervous for sure, but I'm just gonna stick to my routine, stick to my process, and and just let my game do the work. For those of us that have never talked to you in this kind of setting before, what was your path to Aguiland, and you know, what ultimately led you to here as a transfer from CSUN? I would say the coaching staff for sure. I mean, this coaching staff, uh, Schloss was the first coach, head coach I talked to on the first day, so that they wanted me and, and they made it known they wanted me and just the relationships they built. I mean, on my visit here, I talked to Mike early and it, it was like talking to a friend. It, it was just, it was super loving, I would say. Getting to watch you in the fall and some in the spring, uh, your fielding is extremely impressive. I'm sure a bunch of fans will be uh, watching you closely as the season goes on. Where does that come from in your training and how much pride do you take in your defensive capabilities? So I would say it comes from my dad, for sure. It's it's definitely a genetic thing, and then with with some work. I mean, me and my dad would work with it, work on it every single day, two three times a day. So I would say, I would give props to my dad for sure. Holly, what would you say is your kind of your individual goals this season? To win. I mean, I haven't been to a regional, super regional, or Omaha in my first two years of college. So my goal is Omaha, and I think we have the the group to do it. I want to ask you about Braden Montgomery, just as someone who can hit both ways, can pitch, can out, can be in the outfield. But how impressive is it and, and how much work goes into it for him from what you see uh, having to kind of master all those different things? Oh, it's super impressive. I mean, this is my first – I played against him a couple of times in high school. And then at CSUN, I played him my freshman year. And what he does is, is surreal. But outside of the field, I would say that's more impressive. I mean, he's – He's one of my best buds. Yesterday we, we watched the Bob Marley movie, and so that, that was pretty fun for sure. Obviously you've been a part of different teams. What kind of makes this Aggie team special to you? I would say just the characters we have on this team. I mean, everyone gets along. First day I was here, everyone was super welcoming, and, and it's just a fun group to be around all the time. What have the guys told you about the 12th man and just what Blue Bell will be like tomorrow? So I got a taste of it on our first fall game. And that was surreal. That's the most fans I've played in front of. And so opening day tomorrow is going to be super, super exciting. Um, anything that you've seen over the past couple of years with, in terms of transfers coming in, it seems, a lot of guys seems like they've had immediate success. And the last year, obviously, Hunter Haas at your position, a couple guys before that. Uh, just anything you've kind of seen other than the talent of those guys, of how they run things here that allows people to come in, even from smaller conferences, and you know have that immediate success? So I would say every transfer that's transferred in here is super talented. And I think the reason why they're so successful is because it's so easy to play in Aggieland. I mean, just with the guys, with the coaches, I mean, I'm super comfortable here. And so it's, it's easy to play when you're having fun. So you. Obviously, you're new here, but you're not inexperienced in the college ranks. And you mentioned some of the freshmen, including Jack Bell, from that group and those youngsters. What do you see that allows you to believe and buy into the hype that they are going to be special? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Seeing Jack Bell go batter's eye and, and feel the way he does, that's super impressive. And then next to me, Gavin Grohovic at third base. He's, he's my locker buddy, so we've, we've, uh, ha we have a good relationship. And what he does on the field is, is amazing. Uh, when you've gone against some of the pitching this year, um, who has surprised you or, or fanned you a, a few times that, that you think is getting ready to, to go from, from day one? I would say all of them. I mean, not one at bat is an easy at bat. And I would say I'm most excited to see Brandon Tolick. I mean, he, he's had my number all fall and all preseason. So the way his, his stuff is, it, it's going to be pretty cool to watch.
I know the pitching staff last year had a, a little bit of trouble being consistent in the strike zone. Have you all seen, at least in inner squads and stuff, a, a little bit more consistency uh, pounding the strike zone? Yeah, we have strike throwers. I mean, we, all our pitchers have good stuff, but it's more impressive when they're in the zone, and they've been in the zone. A couple weeks ago, Jace touched on um, the camaraderie that this group has. How have you felt just coming into the fold and, and just the, the gelling with the team? I would say first day I didn't know what to expect, new team, new guys. But again, that first day, it was, it was amazing. I walked in, everyone gave me a hug, everyone gave me a high five, and I felt comfortable right away. Coming off the off season, what, what has it been like for you to work with uh, Coach Kiesel and this strength and conditioning staff? Oh, Everything Kiesel does is amazing from from the sprints to and the weight room stuff. It's everything that I've done has gotten me better and everything that we do has a purpose and it's just it's been super cool to work with them. Thank you guys.